everyone. Shortly after a new church had been built, a man stood outside admiring it. Standing right beside him was a little girl about seven or eight. Mister, queried the child, do you like that church? Yes, my dear, I think it is quite lovely, said the man. Well, mister, I'm glad you like it because I helped to build it. You helped to build it, was the astonished reply. The child nodded, but said, but, said he, you're only a little girl. How did you help to build it? My daddy is a bricklayer, came the prompt reply. And when he worked on the church, I used to bring him his tea and sandwiches every day. The same applies to building up the kingdom of God on earth. Every little thought, word and gesture of love, however insignificant, goes to build up God's kingdom in our midst. Opportunities to do this are there for everyone. Jesus says, take the mustard seed at the time of its sowing. It's the smallest of all the seeds on earth, but once sown, it grows into the biggest shrub there is. Sowing little seeds of love along the pathway of life is what makes us great. It's not the grand gestures done for show which make the difference. However, this doesn't mean we sow these little seeds of love sparingly. Thin sowing means thin reaping. One day someone commented to Mother Trees of Calcutta the following. There are so many poor people in Calcutta that your work with the homeless is hardly worth the effort. Mother Teresa looked the person straight in the eye and said, God doesn't call us to great things to faithfulness in little things. I believe that relationships can become strained when small acts of affection are routinely overlooked. A thank you card, an uplifting smile, flowers out of the blue, short prayer with your little ones at bedtime and much, much more. Our small acts of love may not be immediately reciprocated or even acknowledged. It does not matter if people take little or no notice when you sow these tiny seeds of love. St. Teresa once said, If we go through life without anyone noticing our good deeds, so much the better. The seed grows secretly even while we're asleep, but God is not asleep. He seeds into our heart and he knows how much it costs us to love. St. Teresa again said that small hidden sacrifices done on behalf of others are what really please our Lord. The growth of the kingdom then of love in me can often be an uphill struggle. It's often the unacknowledged acts of kindness, the hidden crosses offered to Jesus, the caustic remark held back, all these are moments of grace which transform us into the person God wants us to be. Some people underestimate themselves and they think that in the great scheme of things they can't contribute anything. Well, the Gospel today states quite the opposite. Like the little girl in the opening story, everyone has a part to play, howsoever minor, in contributing towards the building up of his kingdom. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all.